Review Growth bringing you another pre-workout today in partnership with Cross The Limits. We're going to be looking at Wicked pre-workout. Some of you guys were excited about this when you put it on our Instagram because you tried the previous formula or the original one and you wanted to see if this one lived up to that original hype. Some of you didn't like the look of it because it's a bit of an old school label, bit of a prop blend, but we'll get into all of that. We'll cover all the usual segments, so stay tuned and we'll see if it's right for you. So moving into taste and mixability, we've got gruelling grape flavour. I will put up a video on the screen so you can see the mixability up close and how it looks and all the rest of it, but let's give it a go. Not bad, tastes like a bit of an older flavouring system, a bit old school, a bit uh, murky looking, but it's mixed all right to be honest. There's a few little bits at the bottom but really nothing dramatic. Um, definitely above average, but not amazing either. I'm gonna give it a 7.5 out of 10. I think that's respectable, considering what it's got in it, so. So to get hold of this, you're gonna be heading over to crossthelimits.co.uk, where you'll find this 30 serving tub, using our discount code RB5%, knocks off 5%, brings it down to £38 for the tub, or £1.27 per serving. And actually that's not too bad, especially when we come into the actual physical effects of this product. And that works out as a six out of 10 on our price scale. So probably priced a little bit better than your typical pre-workout or thereabouts, but let's get into that label and effects. It's label time of this pre-workout. And as I mentioned before, it is a proprietary blend broken down into several different areas based on what they're addressing. So it's an 11 gram scoop, maybe a tad lower than your average scoop size these days, but let's get into it. Let's see what this pre-workout is offering. First off, we've just got a few vitamins up the top, not gonna delve into that, they're pretty self-explanatory. And that does actually move us into the NO amplification matrix of five grams. First up is beta alanine, you all know that, the itchy tingly ingredient amino acid that helps with endurance when it builds up in your system and buffers lactic acid. We're not gonna know the, do the dose of any of these ingredients, guys, so I'm not gonna be able to touch on that. All I will say, it is likely that there's going to be bits and pieces that are underdosed, so just bear that in mind. Then we move into L-citrulline silicate. Bit of a funny one, never seen a silicate version of it before. That's um, just a slightly different form of L-citrulline, but it's, it's still going to work the same way in the sense of it's going to help boost those nitric oxide levels in your bloodstream. Um, and it being the silicate form should, in theory, mean that it lasts a bit longer, works a bit longer in your system. So yeah, it's going to help with pumps. Then we move into red wine extract, and no, you're not gonna get pissed when you take this pre-workout, at least hopefully not. That's an antioxidant, so it's just gonna help with general health, really, but it's gonna help a, a little bit with the vascularity side of things. You know, when you drink wine, you wake up the next morning, you look a bit more veiny, a bit more dry. I guess that's kind of the route they're going down with this ingredient here. And then we move into anabolic cell volumizer blend of 4,090 milligrams. First up is creatine nitrate, which is just a potent version of creatine. Um, more quickly uptaken than regular creatine, uh, works faster essentially, so that's gonna help with power output, exercise performance, all that sort of stuff. So, you know, you know what creatine is. Then we move into two amino ethanosulfonic acid silicate. Now guys, don't get freaked out by that. I know it sounds a bit like DMHA, but it's just taurine. They're obviously trying to go down that route of scare tactics with this label, just to throw in as many confusing ingredients as possible. So it's just an amino acid. It's got a bunch of benefits to it with um, boosting exercise performance, cognitive ability and pumps, all that sort of thing. So nothing too exciting, not as exciting as they want you to think it looks. And then we move into agmatine silicate, bit of a funny one again. They seem to love their silicates in this formula, but. Um, effectively agmatine sulfate, you guys know the benefits of that. That's gonna work alongside the L-citrulline to bump up those nitric oxide levels and help with pumps. Then we've got N-amino imino methyl beta aniline, which just to me looks like another form of beta aniline, so it'll carry the same sort of effects. I really do think they're trying to um, bamboozle you with a label here with using all these long chemical names. Uh, then we move into D-ribose, which is a component of ATP, which is adenosine triphosphate. So it's going to help with energy levels within the body and exercise performance in general. Uh, then we've got creatinophosphate, which is often mistaken as creatine, but it is a different compound. But that's going to help again with exercise performance. And then the blend that you probably bought the pre-workout for, 390 milligrams, neurogenic energizers. First up, caffeine and hydrous. Again, we don't know the dose unless it says it on the website or somewhere else on the top but I would generally guess 
well, considering that whole blend is only 390, probably only looking at about 200, 200 to 300 milligrams of caffeine, if that. So uh, take that as you will, but that's that main stimulant that's gonna give you that kick up the bum and get you moving in the gym. You know what caffeine is. Then we move into two amino isoheptane HCL, AKA DMHA, which is that illicit now banned substance aka stimulant that's going to work alongside that caffeine to boost energy and focus levels give you that drive to get training and then we move into histidine which is just a semi-essential amino acid that helps you know it's the building blocks of protein just helps with tissue recovery repair um, all that sort of thing so doesn't really need to be in a pre-workout especially in a stimulant blend but hey ho maybe it does some background things with the stimulants i'm not a scientist and then we move into Rolfia serpentina extract I mean, what it should really be in there for is to help a bit with blood flow, a bit with mood elevation, a, bit. a very interesting label to say the least. Let's see how it comes together in actual reality. Okay, real world effects of wicked, wicked jungle is massive. Wicked, wicked jungle is massive. Wicked, wicked jungle is massive. We're going to see if it does live up to that hype, up to the original, um, the previous formula that all of you guys know and love. We didn't personally use it, so we can't comment, but let's go on this one, the DMHA one. Is it any good? Beta alanine? Mm, we don't know the dose. To me, it felt like around two grams, like it wasn't excessively intense, but then again, at the same time, you definitely felt it and you knew it was in there. So five, six out of 10 on the beta alanine scale. So, you know, whether you like beta alanine or not, it should hit that sweet spot of tolerability, tolerableness, whatever the word may be, but it's not a problem, so. Yeah, good start. And then after that, you get a nice, super, like, dialed in drive of focus energy. And that lasts for a good two or three hours. And, you know, it, it just feels like a really nice DMHA pre-workout. One that hits just perfectly, really, with no negatives to it. Just an, a nice, almost aggressive, dialed in, in the zone feeling comes with this pre-workout. And that is, I would say, its main standout point. The pumps were around average, you know, they were okay. I think it's one of those pre's that make you work up the pumps from how hard it gets you training rather than it actually giving you pumps from the ingredients that's in there directly. But yeah, I would say not for beginners, uh, entry level stim junkie perhaps. The standout features are that consistent energy drive, super dialed in feeling and consistency with this pre-workout. It hits nicely every time I used it, every time Aaron's used it as well, it never seems to flop. And I do think before you all kick off or anyone kicks off about the label, we're not going to deny it. You know, it is underdosed most likely. It is a bit of a all over the place, bamboozly weird label. But as you guys know by now, we rate the effects based on how it actually physically comes together in the gym. And based on that, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. I really do enjoy this pre-workout. It's one that I'll likely come back to on non-review days to use for serious training sessions. It lasts heavy back days, long leg days. I wouldn't say it's worth using for a shorter gym day like an arm or shoulders, probably go with something a little bit less stim for that. But the more intense days, this more than gets the job done, definitely. All of the benefits you'd want with a higher stim pre-workout with none of those negative side effects that hold it back. I would say, you know, it's a nice strength level. It definitely does feel like there's DMHA in there, but not like excessive amounts. It just, it just feels like a sweet spot, hits nicely pre-workout. And I'm sure if anyone's used this, you'll agree. If not, you know, members, you'll get samples of this and you can let us know what you think of it. So yeah, if you want me to put numbers against every element of this, I would say energy and focus is like 9.5 out of 10. Honestly, really, really good, but clean and consistent. And then pumps, I would give like a six or a seven. But because there's also no negatives and I just really do enjoy this pre-workout, Aaron does as well. Like we said, gonna give it that nine out of 10. So. Check it out if it sounds good to you. Time to wrap up those scores on the doors in the chronological order of the review. First up was that taste and mixability of gruelling grape. We gave it a 7.5 out of 10. You know, it was, it was okay. It wasn't amazing. It wasn't horrible. It was just okay. Well, above average, hence the 7.5 out of 10. Mixability was slightly above average. There were a few little bits at the bottom, but it went by the time you got there and it was no problems when you drank it. So yeah, thumbs up. Then we move into the price segment where we got a 6 out of 10 on our price scale. So priced maybe a tad better than what we see pre-workouts priced as these days, especially when you consider the actual real world effects of this product, which leads me into that effects section. 
where we gave that a nine out of 10. You know, we really couldn't fault this product. We got a lot of the benefits. It definitely added to our gym sessions. There was no negatives to take away or to score it down on. So overall, really impressed with it. Obviously, as I mentioned previously, we're not taking into account the physical label. We're taking into account the physical effects when we give it that nine out of 10. If we was to rate the label, you know, we'd probably give it like a four or a five out of 10 average at best you know we don't like proprietary blends you guys already know that by now but yeah nine out of ten on the actual effects it's not a blow your head off pre-workout but it's also not a pansy pre-workout either entry to middle ground stim junkie definitely um touching into that stim junkie land so if it sounds good to you definitely check it out let us know your thoughts on this pre-workout down in the comment section have you used any previous versions of this product do you like the look of this one is it going to be one you're going to pick up all the usual stuff, and as always, stay stimmed.